Chapter Four of Child's New Storybook. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Dr. Heather and By in Carrollton, Georgia, in October two thousand and eight. A Child's New Storybook, or Tales and Dialogues for Little Folks. I'll watch thy dawn of joys and mould thy little hearts to duty. I'll teach thee truths as I behold thy faculties, like flowers unfold in intellectual beauty. Chapter four, the frosty morning. Oh, this clear frosty morning! It makes one feel all life and glee. I declare I've been running about the garden till I am all of a glow, and there you sit by the fire, Emma, looking quite dull. Come with me, and I will show you how the little pond is frozen over. No, it is so cold. I do not like to go. Oh, put on your bonnet and tie your shawl around your neck, and believe me, you'll be warm enough. No, I will not go, and so you need not tease me any more. Oh, I will go with you, brother Edwin. I am not cold. Yes, do. There's a dear little Ellen, and I will show you the long icicles which hang on the front of the arbor, and let us just run to the field, as I want you to see the hoar frost on the grass, and to feel it crisp under your feet. Is it not a lovely morning, sister Ellen? It is indeed, dear brother. End of chapter four.